And welcome back everybody, Sign here today with another new series. I'm actually, uh, playing Chrono Trigger. Uh, this is actually the PlayStation version. Um, one of the main reasons is I like the cinematics, the sound quality is a little bit better. The downside is the loading times are longer because disc versus cartridge. There's no comparison there. Alright, go ahead and start a new game here. And... This is what I mean by the loading times are longer. But the upside is you can put so much more information on a disc. Alright, let's go with, uh, well, active. And let's see, enter name, press the start button. Let's just stay with Chrono, right? Let's make things easy for us. And let's see, here we go. Sound quality is a whole lot better than the Super Nintendo, though, by the way. The fireworks sound like fireworks, but the seagulls did not sound like seagulls. And loads and loads of balloons. And... That's supposed to be a bell, by the way. Chrono. Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! Yes. And in case you've never played the game before, the protagonist is pretty much silent. Come on, sleep your head, get up. Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. He shakes his head now. I don't want to get up. You're so excited about the Millennial Player, you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. <laughs> she doesn't know. Alright, let's get moving now. Out of bed. Stretch. So, standard controls, really, you know. Walk around. There is a run button. I wish there was a run toggle button, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, press the button to talk to people, so on and so forth. Finally, by the way, the inventor for yours. Uh, you know, oh dear, I forgot her name. So apparently Chrono's not mute, they just never display any of his uh, text, so... And... There we go. And Luca. But yeah, long loading time sometimes. That's right, Luca, don't forget she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Now first... Oh, I almost forgot, here's your lounge, dear. Have fun at the fair. See, 200G. The cat is just really happy to see me, apparently. And this game just has amazing music, by the way. I need to go to the fair, I know. I'm going to the end first. I want to see if I can get any free stuff before I go into the fair. Uh, there's a black box. But it may have what's inside. Sealed by a mysterious force. You'll come back to those later, so kind of keep track of where they all are. And do, do, do. sorry, people out of the way. Now, one of the things about Chrono Trigger is the way the movement is done. It's actually possible for uh, different characters walking around to like get you stuck. Ah, chest. What do we have we have a tonic. Ah, uh, basically a potion. This dates from the uh, SNES days of, well, ooh, another chest. And 100 gold. Nice. I teach about skills. You want to learn? No, I know. This is like the tutorial house kind of thing. On my base? No. I just take your money and I go. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. And the market. Which I think is empty, right? Yep. Visit our stall in Lean Square. Yeah. And yes, there's a door in the back there, but there's no way to get to the back door. So. What's in this house? This house has... A couple people to stand around that aren't interesting enough for me to talk to you at this point in time. Gotcha. 
So and then we have uh, what? That's Lucas' house there. Now one thing I do want to do, I want to go to the forest here because. Let's see if I come over this way and then here. I played around for like 10 minutes last night trying to fix audio levels and stuff like that. I was just doing some exploring off camera. A power tab. Menu. And wait for that to open. There we go. Item. It's a permanent plus one to my attack stat. You want as many of those as you can get. And there's actually a way later in the game, if I remember correctly, to uh, get an infinite amount. There we go. What are these, like, Hitakis or something? Yep, Hitakis. Basic beginning game monsters, so... Smack, smack. Oh, 40, wow. Yeah, you're dead. That's why I like active, because it... The enemies take a little bit of time to choose their actions as well. And if you're quick, you can get in and kill them before they get a chance to attack you. <clears throat> now, if I remember correctly, I'm just a few experience short of actually leveling up. Which would not be a bad thing. Let's see. Yeah, experience 9, next level 11. So. And I am going to... Go after these guys here. Why? Because I can. I want that first tech. Uh, techs or skills? Kinda. That was weird. Okay. Schmacky. Three tech points. Learned Cyclone. That's my first tech. That's the other reason I wanted to do this. Uh, Cyclone's only useful against groups of enemies. But I guess we can go over techs real quick. Tech. Cyclone. And it'll show you the next tech you're going to learn plus how many points you need, right? Spin cut nearby enemies. Use a 2 MP. Uh, these are special skills that require MP, and later in the game you will get magic. Then you have... Uh, there's 1 techs, dual techs, and then triple techs. These require more people to be in your party, and certain people. Different combinations have different unique techs, which is actually really cool. Uh, let's see. Oops, I got spotted by the bird, huh? We got some bugs. Not a problem. Beetles. I think it just killed Ringo. Whoops. And Smacky. It's the first place in the game where you can run into enemies. There's my level up. So, things are not strong at all anyway. And let's see. That's more bugs there. Not really looking for a bug fight. There's more mushrooms. And let's go to the fair, I guess. Do-do-do-do-do. Now, one of the cool things is, you know, there's time travel in the game, right? It's kind of obvious from the name Chrono Trigger. Depending on what you do in the past will affect things in the future, though. It's actually somewhat dynamic like that. It's not a fully static environment where what you do in the past doesn't change anything. It does. And it actually does in a rather fun way, so... Alright, what are you? You are... a shop, right? By Tonics, Heals... Revives and shelves. I have 826 gold. Wow. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Now, I believe your allies are at least revived after a fight in which they've died, but they come back at like one hit point, so. But revives are the only way to do it inside a battle. For now. A karate gi. Um. A bronze helm. Sure, I will buy one of each of those, because I'm the only one here right now. That and main character's prerogative, right? Alright, so go here. Hit the button on his name, and you can equip different things. 
Hide cap, bronze helm. Hide tunic to karate gi. I now have a decent amount of defense. So let's go ahead and sell off that crap first. And we go here. Oh no. Sell. We have 391 gold left. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, Melchior. This guy is actually very important late in the game. Sure, I will buy stuff from Melchior the Swordsmith. Iron Blade, the Load Sword. See, I can get the Iron Blade now. Or I could grind off camera and get a Load Sword. Hmm. A good weapon, but I think this is actually cheaper later on in the game. That's only a plus two, huh? Hmm. Because there's a... Uh, Live in the continent of the east. Come see me sometime. Uh, there's little mini games and stuff you can do here. Like, uh, you can wager on this race here. The Green Ambler. Guess the winner? Sure. Uh, Cadillac. And depending on who wins, you know, you get some uh, silver tabs, or silver points, whatever they are. See if I can... No. Oh well. What do we have here? Press the X button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the zero button. Circle button. And... Clink. Anything? Nope. I know this is possible to do. I just have to get my timing down right. Yeah. Screw up that time. One more time here. Come on. Oh, wrong button there. And there we go. Impressive. One silver point. There's a guy that'll trade silver point for uh for G. Quiet and watch. Steel runner. Uh, no thanks. Takes too long. So now there's a few things here, but the first thing we're gonna do is avoid the hell out of her. Okay, we have a lost cat. Um, this may not make sense for me doing now, but... You stupid cat. <laughs> I got stuck for a second there on the cat. See what I mean by there? Yeah. I got in that old man's path, and, uh... Come on, cat. There we go. The game would not let me through until I had, a. Uh... Oh, crap. Ouch, that hurt. The cat just ran off, too. Thanks. So sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant! No, oh, don't tell me I lost it. Oh, no. Okay. Talk to her a few times. Go here. Pick this up. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. I lost some of the value. May I have it back? Yes. Yes, you can have it. Let me see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. I have walked around with you for a while. Ah, sure. You're a true gentleman. Yay! Oh, by the way, my name is, uh, er... Let's stay with Marl, I think is what her name is, right? Yep, Marl. Here we go. Um, Marl, and you're... Chrono. What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. I now have two members to my party. And this is what I was trying to do with the stupid cat. Ah, oh, where's my cat? Is the cat back here yet? No. I'm gonna talk to sitting down to my lunch. I didn't even talk to you, dude. It's holding down the run button. So, you know what? Let's take on Gato. They call me Gato, metal joints, beat me up, earn 15 silver points. Do, 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 do. Here we go. And he does have a counterattack, in case you're wondering. Now, 
And it's kind of cool, like, Marl's weapons are crossbows, which is normally a ranged weapon, right? But, uh, if you're too close, she'll actually just smack him with the crossbow, which makes sense. Yay, I won 10 experience points, got one tech point. I lost you one, here's 15 points, now wasn't that fun? It's the best way to make silver points, quickly. You don't get any money directly from killing him. Alright, cat's back. Old man's being a pain in the butt, ambling around everywhere. Come on. Come on, kitty. Oh, kitty, don't you do this to me, cat. Okay, talk to the cat again, it ran off. Alright. Leave the screen. Come back. The old man walking in my way again. Alright. Maybe I just walk the cat. It's not going to try screwing me up. Yeah, it's staying close enough, but it's not getting caught on anything. There we go. Brought back my cat. Thank you. You're so sweet, Chrono. That'll actually uh, make a difference later on, so. And what was up this way? Oh, yeah. Restart dance, how enchanting. Catchy rhythm. Triangle square, L and R, one buttons. Okay. Jurassic rhythm. Alright, let's see. Doesn't matter what buttons I push, <laughs> it's just doing its thing. And I believe, there we go. I think I'm stuck. So, yeah, we got to go dancing for a bit. And that's the only clue the early game really gives you about. Holding down circle to run. What do we have here? So it goes in contest. Press X as fast as you can. All right, ready, set, go. Do 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 do. First time I played this, I had a uh, Super Nintendo controller with the repeat function. Only six hands, best you can do. You're awfully competitive, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I am. All right, let's see. It's still setting up. Why don't you come back in a while? All right. This guy here, 16 silver points. 10 for 50 gold? Sure. So I mean by grinding out some money. So I can play the different games right here off camera. Get some coinage. And then be able to afford, like, say, a sword or something. Yeah, I could equip these on Marl. I'm not going to, though. For reasons. Okay, because the device is all set up. Big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. Eh, no thanks. By the way, check that when you talk to the young lady and selling her pendant. Nah. No, nah, it's her. She said it was a family heirloom, so no. No, we're good. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. Alright. I guess we're getting some candy. And I'm going to wait. And I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have some, uh, get some coffee real quick here. Hi, I'd like some of this. There we go. Thanks for waiting. Step right up, any of you have the time and the courage. Our super, super dimensional warp is an invention of the century. Use it, you jump up here, and you get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Try again? Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono, where have you been? Who wants to try a telepod? How about you? Looks like fun. I'll watch you try it out. <laughs> Just jump on the left pod. All systems on. We get an energy transfer. Woo! 
Oh, wow, that was great! So how was it? Want to try again? It, it worked? I can't believe it! Er, what a thrilling display of science at its best, ladies and gentlemen. Check out that girl's glasses. Wow. Guess even her inventions have to work sometimes. Now, here's where the shit hits the fan, right? But okay, I want to try it too, huh? Hey, Corona, how'd you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on, Corona, I'll be right there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, as his vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. Don't go away. I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way. Throw the switch. Oh, shit. Music changed, right? Okay, everyone. Let's give her a big hand when she reappears. All systems on. Tink, 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 tink. Begin energy transfer. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? And she's inside the glowy blue swirliness of death, doom, and destruction and everything bad that'll ever happen. There we go. She's gone. Luca, where is she? <laughs> Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? <laughs> where she disappeared? It couldn't have been the telepod. What feels him to be affected by her pendant? What are we going to do now? She said, I know I've seen her somewhere. Where she disappeared? Couldn't have been the Okay. Oops, I just hit my menu button by accident. And there we go. Nah. Don't need to do anything there. Go here. I'm just going to pick this thing up and continue on here. Chrono! Are you going to do it? What a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where the machine's going to send you, but we don't have any other choice. Won't both be lost? It's our only hope. The pendant seems to be the key, so I can hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. All systems on. Again, energy transfer. Power to full. Roger. More. Give me more power. Sorry. Roger. <laughs> there. We did it. Well, you have to know what went wrong. Good luck, Colonel. Epic early 90s Super Nintendo transition scenes. Oh, I've missed that sound effect so much. You hear that sound effect a lot. Alright. Can I open my menu at all? No, I can't. Okay. So that's why I wanted to open my menu first. I wanted to check my health real quick. It's like I'm going to get in a fight. It's the blue buttheads. Literally, if you look at the back of their head, it looks like an ass crack. I'm getting kicked by imps. You know what? Oh, okay. You guys wandered away. Damn. It's gonna cycle in them both and just be done with it. And you're dead. Three tech points, 36 gold. Ah, uh, not shabby. Is there any, like, secrets here? No, not really. Can I open a menu now? Yes, now I can open a menu. And let's see, item. Actually, is my health at? Yeah. <laughs> And actually, wait a second here. I think I can equip that pendant as an accessory. Alright, here we go. No, I can't. Okay. Maybe I can equip it after Marl comes back or whatever. Ah, trying to remember something I last played. God, let's not go into how long ago. What? What? No. 
But I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the first episode. I'm now God knows where somewhere in, in a canyon. And now I have to go find Marl. Because apparently, even though I went after her like five minutes later, she is long, long gone. Probably got eaten. But Well, thanks for joining me, though, and I shall see everybody next episode. Until then, this is Sign signing out.